Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're having a quick look at the concept of backgrounds in Canva. Now I have a image that's a brand new image selected here. I'm already starting to work in it. So I'm going to the background area and I'm just going to add this background. Now, one of the things with backgrounds in Canva is that they're not easy to select. And that's really good because it means that you can have other elements on top and you can move those around really easily without disturbing the actual background. So let me just add this text. You can see that I can go and grab it, move it around, but I'm not disturbing the background. But you might be interested in actually using these backgrounds as actual images and you can do that. You can also move the backgrounds around. What you're going to do is double click on the background image and then you can see just what you've got. So this background image is actually quite a bit bigger than the actual document I'm working in. And so once I've double clicked on it, I can move it around. So I might like these clouds a little bit better. Click away and this is the background again. So you see it's not selectable. The text obviously is selectable. There's another technique with backgrounds is that if you right click the background, you'll see that there's an option for detach image from background. That's really handy because sometimes you want these as images rather than backgrounds. So if you're going to the backgrounds tab and looking at these, there's an actual fact all photos or all images that you could use for something other than backgrounds. You can't use the colors, so they don't work that same way. But by detaching it from the background, you can then get access to this image to use. You can also take any image and make it a background. So let me go to photos for a minute and let me go and grab a photo. So this photo can become a background. All I'm going to do is right click it and choose replace background. And then it's going to be the background of this document. And it's going to behave exactly the same way as the backgrounds that are over here in the backgrounds area. Of course, I can double click on that and I can rearrange it so I can move it a little bit up. I can also resize these. So if I wanted a much, much more large version of this image as a background, I can just resize it, click away, and that is now my background. So anytime you see a background image that you like, know that you can actually use that as a regular image in Canva by just detaching it from the background. But also know that elements such as photographs can be used as backgrounds by simply adding them to the document, right click and then choose replace background and they will then become your background image. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned some things about Canva of which you were unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.